A lot of people look at God in different ways. Some see him as harsh, cruel, uncaring, a judge. But when Jesus walked on the earth, he really exhibited who the Father really was. And in John, that amazing passage, John 3, 16 and 17, it says this, that God sent his son into the world, not to condemn the world, but that the world through him might be saved. And I love that story of a pastor and there was this atheist who was a barber and they were walking through the slums of Chicago and they were making their way through all these very difficult horrible places in the area and the barber said to the pastor you know this is why I don't believe in God look at all these people who are struggling who are addicted to drugs who are in poverty who have gone through all these different kinds of things in life if there was a God why would he allow this to happen? And the minister was just kind of silent. They kept walking through these areas and there was a certain man sitting by the side of the road who had very long unkept hair. It was all matted and dirty and he had this beard that was just really gnarly. And so the minister looked at the barber and he said, uh, why is this guy's hair like that? I mean, if you're a barber, why don't you take care of him? Why are people like this? if you're such a great barber and they're not cleaned up. He said, well, gosh, if that guy would come to me, I would, I would cut his hair, I'd give it a wash, I would take care of him, he would look great. And so he looked at the barber the minister did and said, well, it's the same with God. God has given all of us a free will. And people who are addicted or people who live in these certain kinds of conditions, he calls them, he knocks on their door, he says, come unto me, all you who will be saved but they have to make a decision. Just like this guy would have to come to you to get cleaned up, so we have to come to God to get cleaned up. God sent his son into the world, not to condemn the world, but that the world through Christ might be saved. And that's our message, that's our story, and that's so true. We have a free will and we must choose to come to him.